Hello and welcome. You are listening to episode 82 of the Nearly Men Video Games podcast, coming to you live on Twitch from Scotland on Thursday, the 4th of March, 2021. I am Colin Little, and joining me today is Paul Kaczynski. Oh, hi there. And Blunderboy87. And together, we are the Nearly Men. We have nothing to do with the games industry. We do not make them. We don't sell them. We are not even particularly good at them. We are the Nearly Men, and at some point, you have probably kicked our asses online. Yeah, you have. Can I just say, I know you're hosting, Colin, so sorry yes. to jump right in, but I, I feel I need to give a, a pat in the back to Colin Little because that's the best the introduction has been since Colin did it last time. <laughs> is that so it, it wasn't that good because i spoke over gary because i was very conscious of trying to be as 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 down the mic as possible sure show, mate, sure show mate gary doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> blonde i apologize i like, s- and the I, kerry I, rowland the group <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm texting i'm texting nearly an xl even i got that joke <laughs> <laughs> He's not that old. Remember that? So they were, were flip phone texting in a spreadsheet. Yeah. Although the weird thing is, with OneDrive now, technically that could be how she's secretly communicating with her secret lover. So, well, there we go. There we she go. was ahead of the times. She was. And she, and she was the best of the Supremes. Mm-hmm. No, never mind. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on from that, uh, how, how are we doing? How are we doing, gentlemen? Good, thank you, Colin. Thank you for yeah. asking. Not bad. Yeah. How, how are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, just uh, been, been a bit mental of late. Been a lot of a lot of work on, but it's it's nice to to be back with the podcast. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm sounding a wee bit more crystal clear for you all because I've got a a new mic, so it's, it's uh, crisp as a quaver. New, like a like the musical note, or like the the crisps. Both. Both are quite uh, crisp, aren't they? Indeed. Both, well, a quaver's a crisp note, and uh, <laughs> and, and a quaver's a crisp crisp. There we are. There we are. There we are. Uh, hello, you stand up. <laughs> hello, all you lovely folks in the, <laughs> in the chat. I do see Kim H. Smith there. Hello. Yes, uh, it is indeed my birthday week, so, uh, well, I'm sure we'll discuss that at some point later on. Uh, oh, that's I'll, a bit assuming. I'll, I'll, I'll work my way around to that. Oh, Gary, did you did you plan a surprise? <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I disappear and come back? Just, just go back. <laughs> well, you didn't. Exactly. Unbelievable. Un- surprise cancelled. Unbelievable. Oh, um, no. Anyway, so it, it's lovely to be here and uh, and chatting with you all. We've got a load of games news to uh, to get in touch, but uh, to to talk about, should I say? Uh, however, we've had a whole bunch of these get in touch. But if you would like to get in touch with us uh, for future episodes well here is how you do it reaching the nearly men is easier than ever search for the nearly men video games podcast on itunes spotify youtube or your preferred podcast player we stream on twitch follow colin at colin underscore nm follow paul at paul kaczynski all one word follow gary at blunderboy87 and let's get social on facebook as the nearly men Twitter and Instagram where we are at Nearly Men or go old school and email us on info at thenearlymen.com. Need all that again? Links are on our website, thenearlymen.com. So, so what are you waiting for? Yes. Waiting for? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit I got a bit confused. I forgot. We we've got a, a queue there. Um this is this is a wee peek behind the curtain. We've got a queue there, which is the obviously the, the website. But I He's mistook the it. The email address for the website, and uh, I think it's just killed Blunderboy. Like an old man. Just Ed. What? 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 What one is it again, son? What, um, is I it, is the... it the, the dot com thing? I saw it said dot com. I love the fact I wasn't sure if my mic was live yet. So rather than go not yet, Colin, all I could do was go nope. <laughs> 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 that reminds me of a time, this is uh, another peek behind the curtain, a time when we were sitting in uh, Mr. Kaczynski's house. Remember when we used to be able to do that? Oh, and yeah. uh, 
Mr. Kaczynski brought brought cups of tea through for everyone, and he brought a cup of tea through for myself and <laughs> Sherry Bottoms and the wee Maverick. And as he handed the wee Maverick a cup of tea, she tasted a, like a mouthful of it, and then went and just pointed at it, and went cold, <laughs> and that was it, cold. And he's like, oh, oh, very sorry, very sorry, very sorry. And, and uh, off, he, off he ran to make a, a more appropriately heated cup of tea oh. for said wee maverick. True story, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if you heard a nope, it's just because I made a mess of the queue. Uh, right, Alexa, stop. I was going on back then. Alexa's going shady. mental. She's going <laughs> mental. Unbelievable. <laughs> It's all gone Pete Tom. It's all gone Pete Tom. After a great start as well, I, I plotted the start. I shouldn't have said it. You, nah, jinxed you, it. Just you absolutely jinxed me. Anyway, we have some news. news. And uh, this news. News, this news in the news. gaming community. <laughs> well, that's it, exactly. Um, and this is uh, Pokemon news for all you Pokemon fans out there. This comes from uh, Nintendo.com and it was uh, a whole raft of Pokemon announcements. Uh, first of all, there was Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Um, so these uh, two new games that are going to enable fans to experience the original story and game features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl in a fresh way. The original games have been faithfully reproduced and colourfully revitalised for Nintendo Switch. We also have Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arceus? I think that's what it is. Um, the fun of exploring while catching Pokemon and filling in a Pokedex has always been a core part of the Pokemon video game series. Pokemon Legends Arceus was developed with the desire to deliver an experience infused with new action and RPG elements that go beyond the framework established thus far, whilst honouring the core gameplay of past Pokemon titles. As trainers explore the natural expanses of uh, in Pokemon Arceus, they will encounter Pokemon that <laughs> call these grand vistas home. To catch wild Pokemon, players can study the Pokemon's behaviours, sneak up on them and then throw Pokeballs. Players can also battle wild Pokemon with their ally Pokemon. How many times have I said Pokemon? Oh, funny. Well, we're going again because here we go. We've also got new Pokemon Snap. New Pokemon Snap is a previously unannounced video game in which players <laughs> will take on the role of a budding Pokemon photographer in the Lentil region. Uh, there, they will work with Professor Mirror, the region's expert, on an ecological study to photograph Pokemon thriving in nature. The game will be available on April 30th, 2021, on the Nintendo Switch family of systems. So there you go. That was a lot of, a lot of Pokemon. Indeed. I feel like I've seen the word Pokemon put so many times in like one <laughs> system, a sentence. I love the I fact mean... that particularly the Pokemon Legends, Nintendo seem to think that nobody knows what Pokemon is. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so um, this has been met with um, this has been met with a real mixed um mixed bag of emotions. The the, oh. the community in the whole seem really disappointed with the remake of Diamonds and Pearl because they're like it looks the exact same, just a bit nicer. And then you get people saying that's what a remake is. I think people are expecting it to look like the new Sword and Shield game, but Nintendo want to stick to the original art style. And actually, the the little the sprites and stuff look cute. They're, they're fully three D. It's just a kind of top down view. Um, and it isn't actually the uh, Game Freak themselves aren't actually developing it. it. It's been outsourced, so I think it's the kind of keeping that with it as well. Um. Legends Arceus has had quite warm reviews or a warm reception and it seems to be what people have been looking for in Pokemon. We've been looking for an open world where you could just run around and, and scope uh, Pokemon out and stuff. A lot of people, so what people wanted was Pokemon but Breath of the Wild and now they've got Pokemon Bre Breath of the Wild. Some people are like, well it doesn't look the way I wanted it to look. So it's, <laughs> it's Pokemon fans being Pokemon fans. It's, it's good enough, but not good enough. But that seems to be, that that looks really interesting because as it's taking what we know, but building upon it and making that a wee bit different, which is, I am I think it's going to be a bit more interesting than here's the same gameplay and same kind of storyline you're always going through. And then Pokemon Snap as a sequel, a spiritual sequel, I guess, to... Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo 64. Yep. And it's pretty cool. You're, you're in a wee bubble and it's like, almost like you're in a zoo and you go around and you photograph the Pokemon and make notes of them and stuff. It was like, the, original, the first one was a big hit and people, it says 
previously announced. I feel like it was announced ages ago. Like yeah. I, when I when I saw it, I was like, "Is that not out yet?" So the fact that it's coming this year, I think a lot of people will be really happy with. Ne- next yeah. month, a couple of months. Aye, gosh. It's, so it, so it's, it's, is the Legends one the open world RPG thing that everybody's been crying out for? Is that is that what that is? Yeah. Uh huh. Right. So yeah, that's the one people have been looking for. The RPG elements and stuff. Which will be new. I mean, Pokemon is an RPG game. It's it's basically Final Fantasy, but you're in charge of your pets at barter people. So I'm interested to see what these new RPG elements they're going to put in are. Um, that's that's kind of I think that's what people gets people interested in. Kind of going, oh, this will be different than your Sword and Shield with a funky name. Right. Aye. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Obviously, the the Nintendo were obviously holding this off to to announce with this. It's strange that there, there was so little in the Nintendo Direct, which was pretty disappointing. Um, that it's kind of odd that they didn't mention that Pokemon Snap was coming, but obviously that's because they were holding it out for this. Um, it's a it's a strange one. Um, yeah, I, think it's I mean, the Game Freak on the right, Nintendo or just the publisher? Is it, is it not the Pokemon Company? Yeah, it's it's like it's it's a weird relationship. Yeah, um, yeah. But that's why Pokemon had their own Pokemon event, which was actually the day before Pokemon Day, and everyone was kind of like eyebrow raised. <laughs> um, I'd love to think they just they just messed it up. Yeah, so <laughs> the end, the there's, there's something weird that they, that I think they were like, we're not giving you this from the Nintendo Direct. We want this for our thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, again, kind of met with a bit warmer reception than the Nintendo Direct, but still a wee bit mixed bag. Some people were still a wee bit, oh, this is not what I wanted. It's it's a strange one, though, because there is this sort of, like, tension or this sort of, like, slightly fractious relationship between Pokemon and Nintendo because they are synonymous together. Mm Mm-hmm. The idea of a Pokemon game really being on any... I know that, obviously, you can get it on your phone and stuff now, but the idea of a Pokemon game being on any other console just doesn't really... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't... It, it would feel weird. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it, you only need need it to come to PlayStation or to Xbox or something, and, you know, then it would it would suddenly be... It, it wouldn't be a thing anymore, but um, it, it just seems a bit odd that they're, they're so synonymous and, and there's this sort of odd sort of, like... Power they play or something. Be their own entity as well. Because you get the manga, you get the anime, you get the movies. It's quite interesting. One of my favorite things is people going, "This remake looks like a mobile game." To which everyone's going, "It is a mobile game. It's in the Game Boy. <laughs> it's a mobile. It's on a mobile game." Like, no, but like, um, and then all these people like, "No, a mobile game is something you play on your phone." And it's like, how old children of the eighties, nineties, and noughties who had mobile gaming consoles? It's like, would you call a Game Boy a home device? And it was just. It was a, it's a very bizarre argument just now that's going on in the gaming world where that looks like a mobile game because you're like, what do you mean by that? It looks nice. It looks shiny. It, it's yeah. It's a it's a weird phrase that's been used a lot lately. And I'm like, Especially seen as, Nint- as as Pokemon in particular was born on Game Boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where it came from. They were Game Boy games, mm-hmm. so they yeah. they they were built to be handheld. mobile games. <laughs> It's uh, but then that's that's probably a whole generation of fans who probably yeah I remember just... those games coming out a whole generation of games who probably didn't play them on yeah. Game Boy and and probably don't know them and 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 you know because I do remember when was it Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Snap one of the two of them the first big kind of Pokemon game that came to Nintendo sixty four yeah the and stadium. I think that, mm-hmm. yeah and I think that was the first time they'd ever been like a Pokemon a game that wasn't a Game Pokemon Boy game. yeah yeah. Um, it was it was a big thing. I my cousin had the Nintendo sixty four. I remember going to his to play it and being like, "Oh my goodness!" I um, uh, I love, I I loved the N sixty four, but I never really played any of the Pokemon games. It wasn't really my sort of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, but I anything else on Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon. Like, catch Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. There we go. Pokemon. That's got it up to an even 4,000. Uh, <laughs> another recap. We, of course, did stream this live after our multiplayer stream uh, last Thursday, but it was the PlayStation State of Play. So 
we have covered that. It will still be available on Twitch, I think, for, for a little while longer if you want to see that there and get our opinions. But I think we'll just have a quick run through. So what I'm going to do is give you a re recap of everything we saw. If anything jumps out at you, let's, uh, let's, let's discuss it. Um, so it opened up. We had uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. There was a, a bit of a deep dive into that, showing the, the various PS5 enhancements. We had uh, 60 frames per second, various things. I think it was 4K visuals as well. Or... Um, whatever 4k letterbox i don't know how, how they, they do it these days um we then saw an extended trailer of returnal the new house mark game which featured gameplay uh we then saw a brand new game that we hadn't seen before as far as i'm aware called sifu which Ooh. is an intense kung fu experience come that's coming this year 2021 that's we then saw yeah. knock mm -hmm. uh, knockout city the dodge brawl capital oh. of the world um, which we'd seen a little bit about that. Uh, we saw Solar Ash gameplay. Um, we saw a, a new gameplay revealed for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. We saw Oddworld Soulstorm, which is coming to PS4 and to PS5 April the 6th and is actually going to be included in PS Plus. So it's going to, it's going to launch as April's PS Plus game. If, if I'm led to believe, I think it's the PS5 PS, PS Plus 5. game. I think, ah, okay. I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure it's just PS5. I see, I see. Well, Good it'll kind of, yeah, so it'll, it'll work that way because PS5 players will probably be able to also play it on PS4, but you won't be able to necessarily, if you've got it on PS4, get it on PS5. Um, yeah. Um, we also saw uh, gameplay and story details of Kina... Uh, Bridge of Spirits in the trailer. We saw Deathloop's Deja Vu trailer, and then we found out about Final Fantasy VII Integrate, which is arriving uh, June the tenth, twenty twenty one. Um, so, Blunderboy, what what was what jumped out to you? Um, so, Sifu, I thought that looked really interesting. Uh, the kind of comfy aspect. The the thing that got me was the fact he was getting older, and I was like, why is he getting older? What's going on? Um, so that kind of really caught my attention, but like, about the storyline and what's going to happen in it. Um, Oddworld Snowstorm, I love Abe. Um, I'm really bad at the Abe games, but I do like them, so that'll be fun to play, and it'll look lovely, and it's got a lot of new gameplay aspects, which didn't exist in the previous ones. You mm -hmm. can be a wee bit more offensive in this, which seems interesting, um, but the comedy's still there, which is quite quite nice, like them sneaking through the smog behind the bad guy and hiding in the smog. I like that, that mm -hmm. funny aspect. Uh, Kena Bridge of Spirits looks absolutely amazing. Um, like That just looks like... Oh, I... I, I Studio Ghibli film turned into a video game or something, so that's straight up my street. Uh, very, we were saying we watched it, Legends of Zelda, um, Beyond Good and Evil type gameplay uh, and yeah. storyline, it seems to be. Uh, uh, Deathloop's trailer, we kind of discussed uh, what work in the show is, but it was a really cool trailer. Um, <laughs> I just, it was really stylish and fun. And Intergrade, yeah, I'll be down, we downloading Final Fantasy 7 and playing the DLC, Yuffie DLC, but I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty good, there was nothing to keep me interested. The one thing that I'm actually really put off now is Returnal. It's not the kind of game I thought it was going to be, so I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm like, oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get okay. that. Okay. Paolo, what be yourself? I was just disappointed there was no Knack 3 announced. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, that's, but then... that's, com that's coming at a special Knack. What? Knack, no, uh, knack Sony... event next week when I'll say knack, 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 knack. Sony Studio Japan is no more, so that was the makers of knack, so we're not getting knack 3. Uh, well, you say that. Not them, anyway. Yeah. I, I generally don't want knack 3, just to put that on record. No, nobody wants knack 3. Nobody, um, even yeah. knack doesn't want knack 3. <laughs> Sifu looks good to me, um... I love a bit of kung fu, uh, and I love that whole world. So I, I'd like to see a bit more of it, and like to see what what, what actually the gameplay is, what it is. But it's got my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, Deathloop uh, already had my attention, uh, and I don't I don't need to see any more of it. I think I think I'm in. Um, yeah. But as Gary says, it was a pretty cool trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that was about it, really. Uh, you know, like Abe and all that means kind of nothing to me, having not played any of the other ones. I'm a bit like Gary. Returnal is kind of fading on me a wee bit. Uh, I was um, I, I I was keen on it, and then it just I don't know. It's maybe just a wee bit too dull for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I I think it'll be interesting to see Returnal once once we see a bit more of it. Uh, 
what you do know from House Mark is the gameplay is going to be amazing. It's going to um, be fun, surely. It's going to be fun, eh? It does look like it. I think it will be quite good fun. It's not quite what I expected, but I still don't really know what I expected. So I'm kind of holding out just now. If anyone can make a fun game, it will be House Mark. You know, they made mm-hmm. Dead Nation, they made Resogun, they made um, Alien Nation. Uh, oh God, countless, countless kind of fun, kind of arcadey um games that have that sort of like really um kind of ingenious sort of replay replayability about them so yeah, how they yeah. bring a big story sort of into that is a tricky one but yeah that'll be yeah. interesting to see i'm not writing it off but you know yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> um yeah i mean seafood looks pretty good uh knockout city looks fine i think that's the kind of thing we could have a bit of a laugh with for yeah. the odd night a bit like destruction all stars it's not gonna you know um set the world alight i don't think uh odd world looks quite good fun i really enjoyed the original uh, ape game i have never really played any of the other ones at all what i love about this one is it's got that incredible these incredible next gen graphics and yet it looks just like the old game it looks right. just like the old game astonishingly so actually so yeah i'm kind of into that um the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is also getting a PlayStation 5 upgrade um, as part of Integrate. Uh, yeah, that was great. It's a very good game. It's a very good game. It's not quite my kind of game, but I have enjoyed it. It's certainly the fan- Final Fantasy game I've enjoyed the most, um, and I'm kind of looking forward to playing more of it. Uh, Deathloop. I think Deathloop. And it's interesting because because I think we were all sort of of the same mind with Deathloop. We were all a bit like, we've seen enough about Deathloop. We're kind of interested in it. I don't know if we want to see that much more. And I think they did a really good thing with the trailer, with the Deja Vu trailer, where they played a song over the top of it. And it was more just a sort of sizzle reel of action as opposed to a big story trailer. Um, So it just reminded us all how cool the game looks. I love this sort of 1970s sort of like Mm -hmm. James Bond sort of Austin Powers style aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it looks great. And Arcane make the most incredible, you know, dishonoured, and Dishonored 2 are genuinely brilliant games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic games. Um, so I can't wait to have a shot at Deathloop. I think it's going to be great. Um, I always think any game that's put enough money in to have its own theme song is going to be a good game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's you have trust in your game if you've put a song to, to, to it. I always think that's a good, a good sign. Absolutely. Um, while we're on the news, Blonde Boy, I believe you have some news to yourself. Um, we, we we I believe the Trinity has been completed. <laughs> it has indeed. I have <laughs> managed to procure a PlayStation Five. Yeah, <laughs> I was very lucky and persistent at the start of the week. Like I missed the Argos drop because I was asleep because it was three in the morning. Um, but then on Tuesday, um, a bunch of retailers got theirs on on uh, online, and it was just sitting at my computer. Hit and refresh um, constantly, um, yeah. and it worked. So yeah, it is mine. It sits in front of me. It's big. It's <laughs> big. It's big. I was it's like, a... oh, hiya. <laughs> she, she's just there looking at me like, hi. Um, and it's it, it's a fantastic piece of equipment. Like she's so quiet. So quiet. She, like I actually had to like I was putting my headphones on at one point. And I was like. Are you are you there? Um, <laughs> and the uh, the haptic control pad. I've only played a few games that use it really. Um, I was saying to the boys, I tried to Astrobot to kind of because it show takes it as you told me, and it's lovely. Like when it's raining, the individual droplets you yeah, feel. Um, and when you're running glass, it feels different to running different surfaces. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, and it's the same with sand and and yeah, it's, it's, it's really. It can, it honestly, weird, you have though. to feel it to... to I, yeah. I, the weird thing is, I thought it was going to feel like skin. Or not like, but I thought it was going to be like a soft touch. See, because it's embossed, and obviously I don't ever seen pictures, and the way you guys described it, like you could feel the senses. To me, I felt it was going to have that kind of... skin-like rubber. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. So, I, so then when I felt it, I was like, oh, it's, it's solid. I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, it's so expected. I was like, I don't know how this is going to feel. And then actually, I was like, oh, hello. Yeah. Um, yeah. The triggers as well, like... The triggers the are first great. Time, the first time you used the triggers in Astrobot, they're really 
clicky, like, and I was like, oh, oh, that's not what I expected. But then when playing Spider Man, you get the tension resistance, and I was like, yeah. oh. Mm. Um, so it's it's fun. Um, I love the UI. It's so clean and pretty. Um, and there is just... one issue with the UI, right? And I'm sure Paolo's having the same issue. How many times a week, Paolo, do you hold down that PlayStation button to switch off the console oh. and it does nothing? <laughs> yeah, it's <is> killing me. <laughs> I, you just press it. Exactly, and, we know and it's infuriating. But have, you we know. have you got muscle memory? I hold in your PlayStation. But everybody's got it's quite a big thing on the internet. Folk are going off their nut about it because I've managed to teach myself in a day. We have been conditioned over the last like ten years to hold down the main that button on both button. consoles, on PlayStation yeah. and on Xbox, to to switch off your console. And now they've got a wee tap of a button, and it seems <laughs> a strange thing. I mean, I I don't mind it necessarily, but I'm I am sort of like pre-encoded now to hold the button down and it does nothing <laughs> and there's at least a four or five second kind of lag in my understanding when I when suddenly realise <laughs> and I've probably lost like a good four or five minutes of my life over the last <laughs> doing that and I'm like I kind of want that time back That's so true. I don't know why Sony haven't done it yet I'm sure they will eventually get to it but the amount of time it takes Sony to do the most odd I mean it took them so long to let us change our names for instance um, so I, I wouldn't hold their breath necessarily straight away but you old folk will just need to change your, your, your muscle <laughs> memory they, they shouldn't fix it it's, it's, it's up to I us I like it it's it's a button and zoom across I I'm, like the I'm not telling them to fix it one way or another but, but surely give us an option it, it's not it just can't be a difficult fix to them to just go ah. you can either hold down the button or you can tap the button I mean you're allowed to like, you can remap your buttons in games so just let us remap the button in the UI yeah so I never knew they had a microphone built in. Dog. That was a nice shock. I was isn't like, it oh. clever? It's clever, isn't it? Uh huh. With the remote button. Right. Which I've is just something seen instead of the PlayStation button. <laughs> I'm just saying there in the chat, a lot of people with green, Viva La Hazy, saying all the time, it happens all the time, and uh, Sherry Bob saying, remember I had to shout you downstairs because I could not figure it out. There you go. <laughs> uh, there you go. It's more of a problem than people think. Um, anyway, Paolo, I believe you might have a few little morsels for us, a few little crumbs. I do. Oh, these crumbs? Right, so Elite Dangerous Odyssey, if anybody's waiting on it, the three people that listen to the podcast that play it, <laughs> is uh, entering its public alpha on the 29th of March. Um, if you want to be part of the alpha, you have to have bought the Elite Dangerous Odyssey's Deluxe Alpha Edition, which costs you the priceless sum of £40. Bloody pounds, which, hell, uh, for an alpha? Indeed. Uh, I mean, it is the game as well, obviously, but um, hey, it's £40. You may want to try it out first. <laughs> you get a nice wee uh, soundtrack with it as well, I believe. Um, but the game itself, you know, the the Odyssey up day is going to be thirty quid, thirty pound. Yeah. Um, to be dropped... fair, Paolo, we both spent more money on the Alpha of Cyberpunk on PS4. To be fair, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped a video with this announcement um, of a of a pre Alpha video, and it's do you know it's it's very impressive. I, 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 if you don't know, Odyssey is is going to be the the on foot expansion to elite dangerous so elite dangerous is a sci-fi kind of space trucker type thing and this adds running about with a gun and walking about basically in space stations and all that and they released a, a video of its kind of current state and it was three of the devs playing it and it was it was really good it looked really good it was very much a planned video if you know what i mean it was very mm -hmm. much uh, structured in a way to show things off um so I don't know how much freedom you're going to have or how much excitement it's going to be. My worry is that No Man's Sky does this already. So No Man's Sky and Elite are kind yep. of comparable in a way. I I really like In Elite Dangerous because it's quite serious. Um, yep. No Man's Sky is very colourful, very 60s sci-fi type look to it. Elite Dangerous is more your kind of alien you know, Greece Blade, and Blade Runner. Yeah. 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 So that, that appeals more to me. So I, you know, the fact that this is getting added to leap my ears are kind of pricking up a wee bit. Um, but I, I you just need to wait and see, wait and see. Mm -hmm. Uh, PC release is due late spring with the, the consoles coming in the autumn, I believe. That's all. Thanks to your COVID. -y. Mm. Also PSVR showcase happened the other night, which I knew nothing about until I started researching this. 
Yeah. Uh, six <laughs> new games were announced. Um, only a couple of them kind of caught my eye. Uh, one for you, Colin, was Doom 3. The 2004 mm-hmm. game uh, is getting a VR update, or a VR edition, I should say. And that's going to have new textures and sound effects, as well as all the expansions that came out for it. That would be that scary. 29th of March, you can play that. And then the other Dude. one was After the Fall from Vertigo, who were the guys who gave us Arizona Sunshine. Oh, yeah. Um, which is why it kind of pricked my ears, because that was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and After the Fall was going to be set in a post-apocalyptic 1980s LA, and that's coming oh. out in summer. Yeah, so that I, sounds cool. It looked all right. It was zombies again. Zombies again, but uh, I, you know, Arizona Sunshine was great fun, and that was one of the very first kind of VR games, modern aye. VR games. So yeah, it was janky. Went it? Nah, it is janky, aye. But it's it's fun. We we had some fun doing the survivals and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it was fun with other people, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, last wee tidbit for you that probably everybody's heard is Epic Games bought Media Tonic, who are the makers of Fall Guys. So you can expect Fall Guys in Fortnite, and likewise. <laughs> Uh, the good news, good news, good news that's coming out of it is, um, I think Fall Guys is going to benefit from a lot of the stuff that Fortnite has. So things like crossplay and all that, uh, I think might come into it. So they're saying that would be good. That would be good. They've definitely got that um, that sort of infrastructure, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And last wee thing is uh, Game Pass editions. Do you want to know about them? Yeah, right. absolutely. Do you? Uh, well, Madden Twenty One dropped on where are we? Wednesday, yesterday. Um, mm-hmm. it dropped for on EA Play, so that's all, both on PS4 and on uh, Xbox if you're Game Pass. Uh, today, Football Manager 2021 dropped uh, for PC and console, as did NBA 2K21. Gavin Alaf loves an NBA game. He's mad mm-hmm. for it, Gavin Alaf. He's mad and, for uh, it. Uh, that comes on the console and the cloud. Um, that that's it for March at the moment. It's been announced. Um. EA Play, I've got a couple of uh, updates. Oh, yeah. um, so Star Wars Squadrons is going to come sometime in March. They've not told okay. us when. Uh, if you've got EA Play, pick that up because that's a great wee fun game. And then in April, NHL 21 is going to come in EA Play as well, they've told us. Definitely a sports month. Yeah. Lots of sports. Certainly. Certainly. Yeah. Then lastly, leaving on the 15th is Alvastia Chronicles, Astro Gaster, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, Kona, and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Leaves Game Pass. Man. That's a big loss, the, the Witcher 3, but um, I think everyone that wants to have played that has probably either played it or bought it by now, so it's just except one of those me. sort of things. Except me. <laughs> I thought you had it. I had it in disc. Uh, I, I, so, I, I, I mean, disc, I, so. I never got around to playing it, and, and now I can't play it. I'll need to buy <laughs> and it. And now we're not, not talking to CD Projekt Red. That's it. We're fought out it. with them. Raging with them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, that was your cosy crumbs. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for the crumbs. There was some lovely little morsels there. Uh, so, on to the freebies uh, for the month. I know they're not free. All right. Don't start me. They're part of the subscription. We had a big discussion about this. Anyway, uh, <laughs> on your Xbox systems with your games with gold, from the 16th of February to the 15th of March, you can get Dandara Trials of Fear Edition. as a 2D platform Metroidvania game. Uh, from the 1st of March to the 31st of March, we've got Warface Breakout, which is a tactical shooter. Uh, from the 1st of March to the 15th of March, you've got Metal Slug 3, running gun arcade game. That's pretty good, Metal Slug 3. Uh, from the 16th of March to the 31st of March, it's Port Royale 3, which is uh, sort of like, um, it's a, well, it says here business sim, but it's, it's kind of piratey, if I remember. It's kind of like Age of Empires 3 sort of thing. Um, sort of town management sort of thing um, 16th of March to the 15th of April you've got Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse which is a twin stick shooter um, over on the PlayStation side of town another another very strong month from PlayStation we've got uh, the Final Fantasy 7 remake is coming to PS4 uh, you're getting Remnant from the Ashes also for PS4 that's a third person shooter uh, for PS5 you're getting Marquette which is, uh, or Maquette, sorry, which is a puzzler game. Think very much like The Witness. Um, actually looks really, really interesting, Paolo. I think you might might be quite interested in this one for a wee, a wee stream. It's very mm. like the, the Witness, but it's, it, 
it it, to, it does with I can't remember what it's called reverberation or something like that. But basically, there's like a a smaller version of a town, and then a bigger version, and then uh, another yeah. bigger version, and you sort of move you move items in the smaller version of the town, which then move in the big version, and you you have to work out the ways to do it. It, it looks really clever and really interesting, actually. My head's um, hurting already. Sorry. My head's hurting already. Your head's hurting already. It does look quite hard, eye, but it's kind of one where you could stream it and get your get your chat to talk it talk you through it tell you what to do um also now this is a game that paulo actually played uh, he played a shot when paulo and i went to the playstation vr showcase hmm. the what was that like three four months before playstation vr came out um and it's far point which is a shooter where you fight gigantic space spiders um yeah. it's designed to play with the vr aim controller um which i know Blender Boy and Paolo both have. I do not, but it is also fully playable with a DualShock um, 4 um, and I guess uh, DualShock 5, uh, Sense as well. And finally, uh, Destruction All Stars, which was last month's PS5 game, is still available for the month of March as well. So a hell of a lot of value in PS mm. Plus this uh, this month. Aye, um, who, who the amount of value? Anything jump now at you? I, I wouldn't mind giving Farpoint a wee go in VR, I. Yeah, you know, I did. own Farpoint already, and I've never played oh. it. I'm like, I should get around to that. Uh, I need to play it somewhere where yeah. the, where Cherry Bobbins isn't in. Aye. <laughs> oh, I would not be a fan of that. I haven't had the taster of it. No. 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 They're massive as well. Like, Aye. Massive. Um, They're but, not even uh, spider-like. They're spiders. <laughs> oh, they are. They just die. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Space spiders. Space yeah. spiders, I I should really stop saying that word. She doesn't even like the word. Anyway, um <laughs> yeah, I mean Final Fantasy seven, that is I mean that only came out last year. That is a big, big game mm-hmm. for yep. PS Plus. And of course it's coming to PS5 now. As far as we're aware, you will not get the free PS5 upgrade on the PS Plus version. There might be a I don't know if there's possibly going to be a, a sort of charge that you can you can pay to unlock that upgrade if if for instance you you get the ps4 version and then want to move up to ps5 but even if there's not that's still a that's still a whole lot of games especially if you don't have a ps5 at the moment um oh, also the yuffie dlc will not be coming to the ps4 version of the game because it's been built and optimized on the ps5 version so if you own final fantasy 7 on the ps4 you won't get to play the yuffie dlc ever Oh. Or until you get a PS5. <laughs> that was very final there, Blunderboy. Right, that's it. It's you're, the you're... final fantasy of getting to play Yuffie. Hey. <laughs> See what he did there. See what he did there. Um, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Now, we have been playing a whole lot of games, and I suppose we better start. I've just about calmed down, right? I was furious, <laughs> right? Uh, we, last, uh, on Friday there, uh, we were joined by the wonderful Queen of the North, uh, friend of the podcast and we got together uh, we assembled our Ghost of Tsushima Legends and tried our hand at the raid and boy was it difficult yep 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 yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I I was not very happy um, it turns out do you know I, and I'm, I'm, I'm even more comes. annoyed about it now it, it turns out <laughs> I was annoyed about the, the minimum level it said right and then it says recommended 110 do you guys know 110 is actually the maximum you can get in the game you can't go above 110 Oh really? This, this is which, meant to be the which, hardest thing in the game. It should be a hard thing, yeah, absolutely. But it, 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 if that's the case, it should have just told you to be max level for it, because I guarantee even at max level, it'd still be difficult. Um, we got incredibly far, considering how under leveled we were. We did indeed. <laughs> Um, and it was good. We definitely were getting better, but we literally just got to a part where we just could not do enough damage and sustain the kind of damage that yeah. they were doing to us. Um, so if it was a frustrating had- night. If you add up the the levels that we were as opposed to the recommended level, we were probably about you know twenty short. Yeah, yeah collectively. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is quite a big amount. Do you know what it was? It was those ghost darn ghost samurai. Aye, the ghost they were a nightmare. Samurai. The ghost samurai. Aye, they were a nightmare. Um, we'll have to go back to it at some point because I'm I refuse to have to, go back. to uh, be <laughs> exactly. I get I I now get that reference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We, yeah, I refuse to be beaten by it. It was, it was disappointing. I do think that they could have been a wee bit more um, clear about the the required levels and things like that. And I do think that they should have just told you you have to be one hundred and ten even take this on. Um, 
But that said, the actual raid itself, what we've played off it, is very good. It mm -hmm. is very good. Yeah. It, is, it lives yeah. up to the hype of, of a raid. It is every bit as hard as you would sort of expect it to be. I understand from what I've read about it, because I was like, this feels ridiculous. I was quite annoyed, and I kind of was looking for vindication, so I did a bit of Googling, and it turns out a lot of people are feeling quite annoyed about it at times, but it turns out that apparently the next chapter's insanely hard. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so much so that apparently chapter two is so hard that chapter three isn't actually that hard by comparison, uh, so, which, like, which seems an odd, an odd like one. Game of Thrones, the second last one's a big one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll need to, we'll need to go back. We'll need to go back and get. Uh, to, yeah. just, it's just a bummer. We're gonna have to do that whole f chapter again. It took us uh, ages. <laughs> to, to be fair, that that that. I mean, I, I'm gonna say that it was a bit unfair that it did not save anything. We got nothing for no yeah. reward. Yeah, and and no checkpoint if you like from that. But in the that same was bit, annoying. I quite like that as well. That you have to do it all or you don't do it. I, I quite like that aspect as well, but well, that is a but, that is a raid thing. That is yeah, the kind yeah, of raid that yeah. that's a, a thing. But it it just annoyed me because we were so under leveled that we spent I mean four hours trying to do that. And the thing that really disappointed me was we then basically walked away having achieved nothing in the four hours, and that was the thing that annoyed me the most because it's like we haven't even made any progress towards the raid something. for next time. We know what to do next time. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, that is one thing. It will make it slightly easier. And we to get got through, to but... spend the evening together, Colin. We spent an evening I together. Spend enough evenings <laughs> with you lot, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, Paolo, what else have you been playing? I, I, if there's if there's nothing else to say on that, I mean, I, I think it's very much to be continued. We will be yeah. back, aye, and we will aye. we'll have more thoughts once we actually manage to do it. I finished the medium. Yes. Uh, now I've just used an old clip for this because I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything at all. Um, that the medium, uh, I I urge everyone to go and play it because I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I you know I don't like scary games. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not desperately scary. It's creepy. It's very creepy. Uh, it's a beautiful atmosphere. To it. The sound design is wonderful. I'd be peppering it with all the awards. I think it's really really beautiful. And the the story is very satisfying. Uh, I I find with a lot of these games that they can become quite twee and very just kind of uh, either run of the mill or they try to do too much or they try to over egg the pudding. And I think this just hit it right in the right on the head. Um, so I urge everyone to go and play the medium. Did you finish it, Gary? No, I've not played it since last time because oh. everything else came out. So I need to go back to it. Um, I also wanted to. It was. It was. There was. I was just getting a slight graphical hiccup when oh. I had both worlds up and the real world. Some things were kind of phasing in and out, so oh, okay. I kind of cleaned up my PC to go back um, and see if it was maybe my PC was just like, oh, "What are you doing to me?" Um, but I, I'm definitely. I, I definitely go back. The fact you finished it and really enjoyed it. That's mm -hmm. why I wanted to do it as well because that must be oh, good. Oh, did you start it yet, Colin? Haven't started it yet. No, um, it's it's on my list. It's it's just finding the time, really. <laughs> you know, no, exactly, because exactly. because we're all streaming so much and everything else. I I find very little time to to play when I'm not streaming, and uh, because obviously we share an audience as well. I'm like, well, I might stream it at some point, but there's no point in streaming it just now because half half are half the folk have already seen the game. So uh, well, <laughs> maybe uh... maybe do it at another point. Um, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You know, Bluebird are yeah. uh, friends of the podcast, so I would, I uh, would love to do it. And I'd I'm glad to see that they they've done a big, uh, they've done a, a big kind of sort of triple A game, and they seem mm. to have pretty much knocked out of the park. So uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, there's kind of rumors kicking about that they are going to do the next Silent Hill game. And yeah, I, 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 that. I could see people with their their the the keys to the gates of Silent Hill seeing the medium and going yeah these boys could do it you know or these, yeah. could, these people could do it um it's, it's very good it's very very good and it's a wee yeah. eight, eight to ten hours probably about that um and that's definitely worth a playthrough definitely and don't forget it's it's available to play on uh on game pass if you've got mm -hmm. if you've got game pass ultimate i believe uh you get you can play the medium you don't even need to buy it indeed i also dip my toe back into no man's sky 
uh, like I was saying earlier with Elite Dangerous, No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous kind of go hand in hand for me. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be one or the other that I, I sink hours into. But for the moment, I wanted to see No Man's Sky and see how it ran on the PS5 and all that. And it's lovely, it's beautiful. Uh, and there's there's so much more to do than there was. Uh, and it's enjoyable to play. It's pretty, That you know. I, I'm playing through the tutorial and the tutorial is quite big. It's almost like a kind of story. Uh, and it kind of teaches you how to play the game as you go and I'm going through that very slowly while doing other things and just kind of cre creeping through it essentially so I mean two streams and I'm, I'm not finished it yet uh, but it's, it's good it's kind of focusing a lot on base building and that kind of thing um, more than anything else whereas I, I think I'd quite like to be doing a wee bit more combat space combat uh, yep. but that that's where I think my, my allegiance might lie with Elite a wee bit more because it's yeah. It's a bit more. Is it bigger? I don't know if it's bigger. I mean, certainly not in scale. It's not bigger, um, but you know, with the amount of things you could do, it's maybe a bit more varied. Uh -huh. uh, but no, it's good. It's good, and I wouldn't mind giving it a wee go in VR and see how it is. See if it's any better on PS Five. Um, yeah, but yeah, good fun. Good fun. I've got kind of broad hopes for it in PS Five because I did uh, Resident Evil Seven in VR just recently on PS5. It was the first mm. time I tried the VR on PS5 and I don't know how to categ to properly explain it because it, it's not had a big VR patch but it just seemed and it might be a little bit of the placebo effect. It might be frame rates and just sort of um, textures and stuff that are just working a wee bit better. It was clearer and smoother on PS5 so mm. I'm kind of hoping that something like this that's got a dedicated PS5 upgrade might look even better. Um, yeah. Because that, that was the big thing that disappointed me about PSVR. The PSVR version of uh, No Man's Sky, it was just too bloody. It was just really bloody. And I know I was joking about it being Mr. Magoo Goes to Space, but I genuinely felt like I was playing through a cataract. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, uh, Blunder, what about yourself? Uh, so, as I say, I played a little bit of Astrobot in the PS5. Uh, the one thing I love about it, the platforming is great. All the little throwbacks to old PlayStation games, like as you yeah. go through the levels, there's little robots acting out scenes for games. And to me, it just, oh, it's so good. And then you like curate a PlayStation museum. And I'm like, I had that, I had that. It's, it's, it's the cutest tech demo ever. There's one particular reference that you will absolutely love when you find it. I guess is you it, haven't found it yet. Is it the guy with the big sword? It is indeed. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> what, what is it? The guy with the big sword. Which well, which there's guy? Two next swords. There's there's pyramid it's, head, and then there's yes, cloud, it's pyramid, yeah. it's the pyramid head down, one. I thought. Down, yeah, I found when it. I, I took a picture of my like, phone. I was like, the boy's gonna lose his mind when he sees this. For 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 being like a tech demo, look how cool our control pad is. It's just made me so much love and fun. Um, and I tried to take on the big surprise and get my ass whipped like a good few <laughs> times. So I'm we're coming back to that. Um, I finished Little Nightmares 2 on stream. Mm -hmm. It is a chilling tale. Um, it's amazing. The end actually had me like grab my face in horror and gasp mm -hmm. and then was emotionally tra traumatized for about 10 minutes. Um, I would highly recommend it to anyone. It is creepy as get out. Even when nothing's happening, it's creepy. It's so well done. It's beautifully haunting. That's the, the way I like to describe it. And it has real moments that get your, your heart going. Um, it's, it's a fantastic game, so highly recommend that. Brilliant. Uh, Bravely Default 2 came out in the Switch, which is a turn-based RPG. Um, I might stream some of it. It's kind of, the start's really story-heavy, but it's, a, it's an interesting story. It's basically it's from Square Enix. There's four crystals. They go missing. You've got to save the world. It's standard. Square Enix storytelling, but um, the job system, there's these things called asterisks, and you can change your job and it changes your outfit, and your job has all these wee abilities, and it's been real fun. It uses the Switch sleep mode really well, so when you go to sleep, you can send a wee ship out on a voyage, oh. and when you wake up, it's found items from around the world. Um, oh, so okay. it uses a lot of the Switch functions really cleverly, so I'm, I'm continue, continuing that. That's fun. And just the Resident Evil recap, so we did Code Whee! Veronica last week um mm -hmm. which came out in the dreamcast then was released in the playstation it's one of the longer resident evils the fact i did it in the four hours i was mightily impressed with myself um and lots of people were loving seeing it because it's one of the games that doesn't get a lot of love and it's the same i didn't way. know it at all I yeah it's the same it with resident evil zero this week again a lot of people kind of skipped it or heard it wasn't good 
And again, people last night were like, oh, I'm so glad I watched this because I didn't know the story. Or a lot of people were saying, this game looks gorgeous. How How is it 19 years old? And I was like, because <laughs> Capcom know how to make a good looking game. Um, and it's pre-rendered backgrounds. But even the character models, you forget it is almost 20 years old of a game. Mm, um, yeah. So just kind of keeping up with that and, and, and getting my, my spooky Resident Evil zone. And that's me done five weeks. So there's, what, seven weeks till Resident <sighs> Evil 8. So it's a, it's a good... It's a good Slightly. countdown. And I have to tell you, I, I'm not going to spoil it, but I have played, at the end of my Resident Evil 7, I played the Resident Evil 5 demo on PS5. Oh, Maiden, is it called? And I have, it's, uh, uh, yes, it's called the, yeah, it's the Maiden demo. I think yeah. It's called. It is gorgeous. Oh, it is I wait. Gorgeous. You're, you've got sort of like global illumination, sort of ray tracing reflections. It is stunning. And so terrifying. It's really good. It's really <laughs> good. Um, I, I I I jumped over to Games with Gold and and tried out uh, one of the Games with Gold for February, which was Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's very kind of old fashioned sort of Tomb Raider, sort of like OG Tomb Raider game in the Indiana Jones world, using your whip to knock enemies uh, weapons out of enemies' hands and stuff like that. Um, controls are bizarre at times some of it's great some mm. of it's horrific the swimming is horrible um <laughs> but the game itself is a lot of fun i'm enjoying it i'm going to go back to it with we're on our way to prague next um and it just it's just fun playing as indiana jones the hey. guy doing the harrison ford impression is not the best to be fair but um it, it looks like indy um so that's great i and then uh, when was it tuesday night i jumped and i felt like something a wee bit different so i jumped into sniper elite four um, on the PS4, uh, with well, the PS4 version playing on the PS5, and my goodness, that game is a lot of fun. It is super violent, as we of course know and expect with the Sniper Elite uh, game. I love the fact that the footage Paolo picked is just me being shot dead. Um, <laughs> thanks for that, Paolo. Um, but uh, yeah, it's great, and of course, it's got all these ultra violent sort of X-ray shots where, of course, you can shoot all sorts. And I did, um, I did shoot a Nazi in the. Uh, in the no-no parts, and it was oh. every bit as horrific as you. It's <laughs> horrific and hilarious and delightful. Um, it's as I said, it's an extremely violent game. The the bullet physics are a lot of fun. You really are thinking uh, a sniper meets sort of um, meets sort of uh, Resident, yeah, uh, not Resident Evil, oh. Mortal Kombat, that sort of thing. Um, uh, Blood and Snotters, but um, yeah, great fun, uh, and we had a lot of fun playing it. So the viewers have been in touch. They've been playing a whole bunch of games. Uh, so over on the Discord, the wonderful Nat Pacino got in touch saying, I have fallen off the gaming wagon slightly, but oh. thanks to the heads up from UZ83, I discovered Concrete Genie. It is absolutely gorgeous. The motion controller mm. took some getting used to, but I'm loving the design and the story so far. Also in the Discord, Bry22 got in touch. Uh, just been playing the usual retro stuff for stream, then Valheim, No Man's Sky, some tabletop simulator, and the Division 2 for my own pleasure. Also in the Discord, we had the wonderful Jabrias get in touch. I finished off Ghost of Tsushima, and I'm working my way through the Uncharted games currently in Uncharted 3. Jabrias is making nice. quick work of the Uncharted games. They're There's flying through them. Um, Jabrias, of course, we know, friend of the podcast. Well, actually, brother of one of the podcasts. Um, it missed the missed the whole sort of PS4 generation essentially, so is is catching up and doing doing very well. Uh, you know, the Ghost of Tsushima and the Uncharted games. That's uh, that's making making good progress. Mm. Uh, Tommy B two nine uh, two nine eight. Uh, I've been on State of Decay two mainly and a sprinkling of Sea of Thieves. Good choices, mm. good games. Um, Cherry Bobbins oh nine. Uh, started Tell Me Why on Xbox, liking it so far, Good. and then went right back in time with some croc for the PS1, thanks to Arcade Glasgow and their amazing retro collection. Oh, yes, we bought I was thinking about croc last today, playing Astrobot, actually. Oh. Sherry Bomb's a big fan of it. I'm Croc's amazing. Um, I've been I've been watching her play it. It's, it's no Mac in a game, and I think the controls would literally drive me up the wall because uh, <laughs> you know g- games game controls have improved greatly over time. You know, um, Scruffy, wonderful streamer. Scruffy's been in touch. Uh, Snow Runner, great off road sim with loads of different environments, trucks, objectives, and upgrades. I have warned Scruffy. He has now come onto our patch, my patch. And started doing this. I told him to stop putting pictures of SnowRunner on Twitter because it looks really good and I want to play it. And I have no time for any other games. And now he's coming on here 
rubbing it in my face. <laughs> I it's was no chatting the other day Excellent. about it. Aye. That's, I saw, it's one that's always caught my eye, and I, every time I see someone go up, uh, play it, I, I go to myself, I know that'd be good, that'd be good. But like you say, man, there's too many. Oh, it looks really good. It looks really good. And I don't know why, because actually, like, you know, the the young, maybe I'm getting older or something, the young me would have hated it, probably, but <laughs> it just looks fantastic. <laughs> uh, Jamsy, the wonderful Jamesy42, uh, much the same as usual, Red Dead Online, FIFA 21, loving the managerial mode and attempting the epic that is AC Valhalla, about 27 hours in and hardly a dent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm even less than that, and it's it's getting a bit overwhelming. No. Um. No. So I so that 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 was all all the the listeners getting in touch. If you would like to get in touch, here's how you do it. We'd love to hear from you. Find us on Facebook as the Nearly Men, Twitter and Instagram where we are at Nearly Men, or email info at the Nearly Men dot com. And there we go. So we've got some new releases. Not too many this uh, this week, but let's uh, let's let's hear what we've got. Mortal Shell Enhanced Edition is coming out on the fourth of March. That's today, out today as we record on PS Five and Xbox Series X. Uh, Gnosia is out uh, today as well on the Switch. Um, also today we've got Kill It with Fire. That's for the PS Four, Xbox One, and the Switch. Uh, we've got Ranch Simulator. For the PC, that's also out today. Then next up, we've got the 12th of March. We have Crash Bandicoot 4, about time. That's the PS5, Xbox Series S, X, and Switch release for that. Kingdoms of Amalur Re Reckoning is coming to the Switch on the 16th of March. Also on the 16th, we have Samurai Showdown for the Xbox Series X. And we also have on the 16th, Stubbs the Zombie Rebel Without a Pulse. That's coming to the mm-hmm. Switch, the PS4, and the Xbox One. That was quite good, actually. Uh, on the 18th of March, we've got Cartel Tycoon for the PC. Also on the 18th, we have Marvel's Avengers. That's the PS5 and Xbox mm. Series X uh, versions of that. That's coming out. Uh, I guess they're hoping that they're going to they're going to get. I know Hawkeye and people like that are coming into it. They're, they're I guess they're hoping the players are going to come back to that. Um, also, in 18th, we've got Minute Minute of Violence. That's for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And also on the 18th, we have Plants vs Zombies: Battle for Neighborville. And that uh, that's that's all your uh, new releases. Beautiful. Um, it's safe for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing really jumping out at you um do we have paulo do we have any questions from the chat we did well we had a couple of comments tommy b 298 uh mm-hmm. said he'd l- he's literally downloaded the witcher 3 this afternoon <laughs> oh, <no>. oh, <laughs> what happens if tommy has them does he is it gone or as long as he's got it downloaded is he okay i don't know how game pass works no it goes it's gone oh. it's just, you know, it's, it's well, a subscription tommy, I'm, service I'm sure, I'm sure you can complete it in uh Eight hours. <laughs> eight hours. That, game, that game's known to be very concise and quick. Uh, Bry2208 was also talking. He says he agrees with Paul that these games are not freebies. They are not freebies, Colin. Just like just like Tommy B, he's, he's downloaded The Witcher 3. Is it a free game? No, because it leaves on the 15th and he can't play it after that. If you can find of a better and more concise name for it than freebies, this was the problem, Paul. You wanted to change the name, but you couldn't think of anything good to no, change it to. The Temporaries. <laughs> games that are included with your subscription if you pay it the subbies was that what you subbies. said subbies, subbies there you go subbies you're not called subbies no <laughs> this is a hell I'm prepared to die on they're That's free us. enough right they're free enough erroneously yeah. freebie <laughs> The, uh, the free freebies asterisk not really free that's that's what we're <laughs> uh, <laughs> um uh, yeah, there we go. Evil Monkey says freebies with some taxi backsies. <laughs> ah, there you go. That's it. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Absolutely. Very concise mm. and perfect branding. Um, so, uh, is there anything else? I mean, I, I've got a wee announcement to make, but have we got uh, have we got anything else coming up ourselves? Uh, is this when we should have brought out a cake? Yeah, I mean, that would have been... Uh... This would have been the moment. Um... I mean, I was stalling there, but... I mean, well, I mean, I if I... Oh, a half eaten cake from Blunderboy. Not well, half eaten, it's full. It's a full cake. It's a fairy cake. I could oh. be a stripper for you. I will eat on your behalf. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Uh, you can leave your hat on. Hello. <laughs> 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 put on a hat. 
Yeah, yeah, taking yeah, the hat off yeah, and putting yeah, it back yeah, on. Yeah, he is yeah, gyrating suggestively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you I go. Was just, I was a just cake, captioning for the cake and for the stripper birthday. for your birthday. What work did you ask for? Do you know what I mean? Well, there we go. Thank you for that. Yes, it is uh, going to be my birthday on Saturday, but tomorrow, which is Friday the 5th of March, I'm going to celebrate it on the high seas. I'm going to do a 12 hour <laughs> Sea of Thieves stream on twitch.tv slash Colin NM. And hopefully, I'm going to be joined by a whole bunch of lovely friends, including these reprobates here as well. Hi. All going to plan. All going to plan. I mean, Blunder Boy's going to find an excuse to not play Sea of I was going to say, is that, no, is that... <laughs> I need to download it, and then I'm going to get. My is Mermaid Admiral Sass coming on. back? Yeah, I, no, I'll, 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 I'll come back as Admiral Sass, yes. Admiral uh, Sass will make a guest appearance. Admiral oh, Sass. the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. The Colonel. The Colonel. I, 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 I thought he right said Returnal. <laughs> <laughs> uh... um, and yeah, so, I, and Sherry Bobbins is, is desperately wanting people to know that we are going to do a, a little thing we tried out in my, my stream a little while back when I was playing... Um, Crash Bandicoot and losing my mind at how annoying the game is. Um, we're going to do Colin NM Bingo because you guys know me. I am nothing if not predictable and I <laughs> rant and rave and say the same things all the time and have the same excuses for everything. So you guys can have some fun. And there is actually going to be some prizes. There's going to be some prizes as well. We're going to do that. There'll be stream loots, packs and various things getting given away. Um, I've got a whole bunch of lovely streamers coming to join me as well and also the Mailer Men. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm taking a leaf out of Blunder Boy's book. It won't be as good as Blunder Boy, but I am going to be in costume. Oh. I'm going to be in costume. I was and like, which leaf are you taking? <laughs> all going to plan. It will be a new costume. <laughs> so so many if leaves. it arrives in time. So Yay. many leaves. <laughs> I hope it's going to be a sexy mermaid. Uh, it might be. I mean, well, I've listened. If my other one doesn't arrive, it probably will be. So, if anyone <laughs> does want a game of uh, of uh, Colin NM Bingo uh, and and is is either listening very quickly to this or watching on the VOD, um, then uh, <laughs> then you you message Sherry Bobbins. Uh, Paolo is also going to be streaming tomorrow, I believe, yeah. in the afternoon. I think you're going to join me on the seas, and we might do a wee sort of multi-stream. Ninety yeah, percent about that, I'd say. <laughs> Uh, that's good. That's good. Good. Um, I have just been told. I've literally just got a message from Royal Mail saying that uh, they attempted to deliver a pass package today ah. to rearrange. So I, there might not be a costume oh. tomorrow after all. That's the hideous behaviour from Royal Unbelievable. Mail. Unbelievable. Um, so I. That's great. That's great. Um, so yeah, you'll be on. And Blunderboy, you are you streaming tomorrow afternoon as well? I am. I'm going to be doing a little bit of I can Infinite Phoenix Rising. Because Ooh. I bought it on sale and said when I get a PS5, I'll download this and stream it. And now I have one, so here we well, go. There we go. And then I'll, I'll be putting along after that later to join you on the Seven Seas. Oh, Splash. yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, is there anything else to say? Uh, we will be back next week, uh, next Thursday, with some multiplayer games. I don't know what we're doing. I don't mm. know what we're doing. But we'll be back then with that. Oh, stop Tsushima. It might, might well be that. Who knows? <laughs> and we will also be uh, giving away our... Uh, well, we'll be announcing our events for March. We're a bit late in doing that, but we will, of course, be doing our nearly main events for March, so we'll be in touch about those as well. Well, um, Paul, again, uh, would, you, would you like to say goodbye to everybody? Uh, goodbye to everybody. There we go. Blunt the boy, would you like to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye and charge your joypads. That's it. And I will just say goodbye, everybody. Da, 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 da. No, Paolo. Da, 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 da. No, Paolo. <laughs>